Today I want to share with you my review of Dignity's St. Joseph Hospital in Phoenix, Arizona. Stay tuned. Welcome everybody. I'm Natasha with Nursing Our Travel Bug and I've been a travel nurse for over five years now. For the last four of them, I have taken my husband, Bill, our two kids, Bella and Will, and our dog, Bernie, along for the ride in our fifth wheel RV. Normally we do videos about our family and our travels and RV stuff, but today is a travel nurse talk video, and we are going to talk about Dignity's St. Joseph Hospital in Phoenix, Arizona. Before we get into the hospital review, let's just talk about Phoenix as a whole. Phoenix is a fabulous city with something for everyone. Whether you're single, you're a couple, or you're a family, you're sure to find plenty to do in the Phoenix metro area. One of the big draws of Phoenix is its sports scene. Uh, of course, baseball is huge in this area, not only because of the baseball stadiums, both Major League and AAA, but they also host spring training in Phoenix, Arizona. And then, of course, you have basketball and other sports as well. In addition to sports, Phoenix has tons and tons of things to see and do, lots of museums. We loved the Phoenix Science Museum. It is spectacular. They also have a really amazing zoo that you have to check out. And you know, if the indoor stuff isn't really your thing, Phoenix has tons of outdoor activities as well. Hiking is super huge in this area and you can find oodles and oodles of hikes from easy to medium to quite difficult. So Phoenix is where it's at for you outdoor lovers as well. And then of course, if you're big into the nightlife, Phoenix has lots of bars, restaurants, places to go dancing. Phoenix has a really, really fun nightlife scene for sure. Phoenix is a great location. It's kind of centrally located in the state of Arizona, but because it's so large, it does have an international airport. So if you have a long weekend, you can just hop on an airplane and head out to anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world and have a fun little getaway. Speaking of getaway, Arizona can get very, very hot in the summertime, as you all know, but it's really close to Sedona up north, a great place to escape the heat, and it has a lot of fun, artsy, eclectic activities and vibes there as well, so it's a really fun place to check out. Phoenix is also within drivable distance to Page, Arizona, home of the famous Horseshoe Bend, as well as the Grand Canyon, and it's even a short drive away from the beaches of California. So Phoenix is a really, really great location for any travel assignment. So now that we've talked about the area, let's jump into the hospital review. So I am talking about Dignity's St. Joseph's Hospital. It's located really close to downtown, and it happens to be the very first hospital in Phoenix established in 1895. It is a non-for-profit Catholic entity. It has 607 beds. It is a teaching facility and they partner with Creighton University Medical Center to not only work with their medical students, but also their nursing students. Orientation for this assignment was pretty lengthy actually. You get one week of in-class training and some of that is done virtually. And then you get three shifts on your unit. So you get plenty of training, plenty of time to get those modules done parking is amazing. They have on-site parking, a big lot for their regular employees, but because it's a larger campus and it's a little trickier to navigate, they actually allow their travelers 
to park in their garage. So it's much easier to get where you need to go. Of course, COVID is huge right now and Dignity Health is taking precautions with their employees uh, regarding COVID as well. So for those training classes, you are spaced quite a ways away so that you don't have any direct contact with your coworkers. And everyone who comes into uh, the St. Joseph's facility does have to wear a surgical mask at all times. And you are screened at the door for your temperature and your overall wellness, just to make sure that everyone entering the building is safe to be there. Now, as far as the COVID uh, precautions while you're on the unit, like I said, everyone always wears a surgical mask, but if you have a COVID positive patient, Dignity Health did an amazing job at St. Joseph's by converting a lot of their rooms to negative pressure to keep them safe for their patients who were experiencing COVID. They also would supply their permanent staff with special form-fitted non-rebreather masks. I believe they were 3D printed. Now, of course, as a traveler, you don't get that really fancy 3D printed mask, but that's okay. They supply you with an N95 as well. And then, of course, it's the typical uh, contact precautions garb. You have to wear the full gown. You have to wear the gloves. You can even wear the booties if you like. So they did a really, really great job making sure everyone was safe within the hospital. Now, as far as scrubs, uh, everyone in the main hospital gets to wear Navy scrubs for nursing. Now, they have a section of the hospital that is called their Barrows Neuro Institute. So everyone working in the Neuro Tower actually wears gray scrubs to differentiate and show that you are a neuro nurse. So there's a little bit of difference there. Speaking of the Nero Tower, that is where I happen to work. I worked on their Nero Tele unit. This is a 48 bed single occupancy unit. Now with COVID, the hospital had to accommodate more patients. So you would see that on the Nero unit, as well as a lot of the units in the main hospital, they did have to cohort. Um, with the Nero unit, it is split into two different sides. So they actually tried to put all of their COVID patients down one hall and keep all of their standard Nero patients down the second hall. And they did a fantastic job with that. When I arrived, they were towards the tail end of their big surge with COVID. Um, but I was told that at the beginning when the bell curve was at its highest peak, they did actually have 88 patients on this one narrow tele unit when they're normally stocked for 48. So when I arrived, they were actually in a period of transition, moving those cohorted rooms back to single occupancy. Um, there was a lot of shuffling of equipment and moving things to storage. But I do have to say, uh, I think it was like four or five weeks in, I actually discharged the last COVID positive patient on our unit. And I believe when I left Dignity in uh, the end of April, beginning of May of 2021, their average census for their COVID patients was between 12 and 14. So really not bad at all. Now let's talk ratios. Dignity Health really does a fantastic job making sure your assignment is balanced, not only for your safety as a nurse and your license, but also for patient safety. On the Nero unit, our ratios were one to four for nursing and the techs or PCTs had one to 12 up to 16. The PCTs that are on the floor were fantastic. They had great attitudes. They were very hardworking. They typically get the vitals for the day with the exception of the first vitals. That's up to the nurse. They also get your blood sugars, do the baths, and of course, answer call lights. This narrow unit was unique because they also had an epilepsy side for the unit. And a lot of these individuals were coming in as an outpatient basis, but you did get some inpatients who needed like 24 hour EEG monitoring. Now they typically assigned these patients to their core staff who had been specially trained 
on the epilepsy unit. So as a traveler, you're not really going to see those kinds of patients. One thing I found really interesting at this hospital was how they locked up their insulin. Of course, with multi-use insulin vials, those tend to go into pockets and walk away. However, they used this contraption that kind of looked like one of those pill boxes, and they put two to three insulin bottles within those boxes, and then they chained it to the Omnicell. So there was no walking away. You had to know how much insulin you were taking. These rooms, although they are actually pretty spacious, they did not have computers in the room. So they do supply you with the wows or the cows as they're called, workstation on wheels or computer on wheels. So it was kind of like a hunt and grab in the morning to find your vitals machine and find your computer for the day. But they had plenty of supply, so it really wasn't that big of a challenge. This hospital has amazing teamwork. Everyone was so friendly and so welcoming. So they're certainly traveler friendly. Friendly. You definitely feel like you're part of the team. They ask for your input. Um, it's pretty great. In fact, they do a morning huddle on this particular unit where the manager and the supervisor are both involved and they ask for folks within the team to acknowledge another member. Um, and then they use those kudos and they distribute like Starbucks gift cards or gift cards down to the cafeteria. So they really, really value teamwork. Another great thing about Dignity Health St. Joseph's Hospital is the fact that you don't feel like a sinking ship in the middle of the ocean. You've got plenty of resources. As I mentioned before, you see the manager and the supervisor for that day every single morning in huddle, and they're very, very accessible. Their door is always open. You can always walk in and chat with them. In fact, they even do rounds on the unit so they can physically see how their staff is doing and how they're performing. In addition to having the manager and the supervisor on shift, you also have a charge nurse who is free from patients, so they are a great resource. You also have a resource nurse on top of that. So you have two additional nurses that you can call if you need to bounce ideas off of them, if you're kind of behind and you need some assistance, if you need an IV start, whatever, you have two resources to reach out to. And in the event that those resources are preoccupied, you also have a hospital-wide SWAT nurse or resource nurse that you can call. They do typically cover for your MET calls or your RRTs, but again, they're another resource to reach out to if you need some additional help. Overall, with Dignity Health St. Joseph's Hospital, would I return as a travel nurse? I can say with 100% certainty, most definitely. I give this hospital a five out of a five. Uh, they are just fantastic. Well, thank you so much for watching my hospital review of Dignity Health's St. Joseph Hospital in Phoenix, Arizona. For more hospital reviews, travel nurse tips and tricks, or advice, check out the playlist right here. If you like this video, you found it informative, or you got something great out of it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment down below. What do you think? Would you take a travel assignment here? How about those ratios? I mean, amazing, right? Drop a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. And also, share this video out. You too could help another travel nurse make their next choice to come and work for Dignity Health St. Joseph's Hospital. Well, I'm Natasha with Nursing Our Travel Bug, encouraging you to nurse what makes you happy. Thanks for watching.